Welcome students uh, to another module of quadratic uh, equations and in this module we would be actually uh, seeing some problems based on symmetric expressions. I hope you remember what are symmetric expressions. Now let us see the first example. Now in this example if you see we have a quadratic ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 which has roots alpha and beta. Now we have to find the values of the given symmetric expressions. So there are three problems in this one problem. The first is we have to find the value of 1 upon alpha square plus beta square. Second is 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. Its value we need to find out. Next is 1 upon a bit complicated a alpha plus beta plus 1 upon a beta plus uh, b. Now you can see that this expression is uh, very very uh, symmetric all these three expressions. Uh, and as we have learned that symmetry expressions can be written in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Now let us take the first problem. Uh, by the way, we already know that ax square plus bx plus c has roots alpha and beta. These three expressions we need to represent in terms of a, b and c. That is a task at hand here. Now first of all, because alpha and beta are roots of ax square plus bx plus c, we know that alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha beta is c by a. So first of all writing 1 upon alpha square plus beta square as 1 upon alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta and using alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha beta is c by a. I substitute that here in the expression. So accordingly I get this simplified expression which simplifies to a square upon b square minus 2ac. So the value of the first expression alpha 1 upon alpha square plus beta square simplified in terms of a, b and c turns out to be a square upon b square minus 2ac. So this was about the first expression. Let us go to the next expression that is 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon beta square. Okay. Now again this is also a symmetric expression. So we can write this in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So first of all we cross multiply we get beta square plus alpha square upon alpha square beta square which can be simplified in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta in the numerator and below it will be alpha beta the whole square. Again using the fact that alpha plus beta is minus b by and alpha beta is c by we substitute that in the expression to get a simplified expression that is b square minus 2ac upon c square. So this is the value of the second expression symmetric expression in terms of a, b and c. Okay. Let us go to the next one a bit complicated but not very easy. Uh, rather I, I want to say that was very easy. Uh, it looks difficult but it is easy. So what we do is first of all we cross multiply that is the first step we carry on here. So we get a beta plus b plus a alpha plus b upon product of the denominators that is what we do uh, take LCM. And now we expand the numerator and denominator. You will see that uh, the numerator turns out to be a times beta plus alpha plus 2b upon and then we multiply both the terms. We get a square alpha beta plus a b alpha plus beta and b square. So now what we do is again we know we let us simplify here uh, the expression completely. Wherever alpha plus beta I have I substitute as minus b by a and wherever alpha beta is there uh, we replace that with c by a. And as we simplify this can you see the expression becomes so simple it turns out to be b square upon ac. So finally the value for this particular expression is b upon ac. Okay? Now let us come to the next example. Now here alpha and beta are the roots of the given uh, quadratic a, 8x square minus 3x plus 27 and we need to find the value of the expression looks very complicated alpha square by beta the whole cube root plus beta square by alpha the whole cube root. Now I you can check that with the method which we have generated to check whether it is a symmetric expression or not. So it is a multiple choice question. So the value of this expression matches with which of the options? We have four options here. So let us take the simplified uh, uh, you know let us simplify the problem. First of all alpha beta are roots of this quadratic equation. So we have alpha plus beta is 3 by 8 and alpha beta is 27 by 8. So cross multiplying you can see the simplification done in the cloud and that simplification uh, gives us a very simple expression alpha plus beta upon alpha beta raised to 1 by 3 that is cube root of alpha beta in the denominator. We know alpha plus beta is yeah alpha plus beta is 3 by 8 and alpha beta is 27 by 8 the whole cube root in the denominator 
and this simplifies to a very simple expression that is 1 by 4. So, the correct option is option B. So, in this module basically we have uh, actually utilized the fact that why we learned symmetric expression because symmetric expression can be written in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta and today exactly we have employed all this understanding of writing symmetric expression in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta into simplifying these problems. Okay? So, I hope with these two problems you have understood uh, how we can employ the idea of symmetric expressions. Yeah? Thank you very much.